Hello all, welcome to this session. In this session, I'm going to answer software testing interview question 158. That is, explain spiral model. Let me answer. Spiral model is one of the SDLC models. There are different SDLC models like waterfall model, prototyping model, iterative incremental model, spiral model, V model, agile model, RAD and Big Bang models. Spiral model is one of the SDLC models. So what exactly is this spiral model? Spiral model is a combination of waterfall model and iterative model, okay? It's a combination of waterfall and iterative model which looks something like this, okay? So let me draw this spiral model for you. So let me put these lines. Spiral model looks something like this, okay? Five spikes will be there, attached like this. So in one section, we'll write uh, requirements gathering and analysis okay this is one of the phase you see it's a combination of waterfall model and iterative model in one phase you see requirements gathering analysis of the waterfall model is there when then we have the design then we have the implementation phase that is a coding phase then we have the testing phase then we have the deployment phase so it's a combination of waterfall model and uh, iterative model you see all the phases of the waterfall model are there from requirements gathering design implementation testing deployment at same time this phases will be run in the iteration format you see the starting point this is a starting point let me give some colors this is a first spike okay this is a first spike guys it will start here and end here and in the next spike it will start with the requirements gathering analysis then design implementation Iteration of all the phases of waterfall model will be done like this. it will stop here. Then another phase, let's say this is the third phase. Third iteration, you can say third iteration of this. Like this guys, the spiral model keep on going, okay? So a, every spiral will contain a complete waterfall life cycle, okay? Waterfall models life cycle. That is all the phases of the waterfall model will be covered in every spike. Hence it is a combination of, and spiral model is a combination of waterfall model and iterative model. So here, when spiral model is fo followed, okay, for developing which kind of software the spiral is model is followed. So whenever you have the situation like this, where you see uh, example is uh, yeah, Microsoft MS Office. Initially, they will come up with a uh, version 95, okay, in the first uh, spiral, okay. So in the first spiral, let, let's say this red color spiral, they have come up with uh, MS Microsoft Office, MS Office. 95 version they came up with okay basic basic features were there in ms office 95 and uh, they wanted to create a concept whether this will work or not software will work or not they created a concept after that as part of the next version as part of releasing the next version the next spiral has started okay all the phases of the waterfall model will be covered as part of this spiral you see green color one they released another version of the software that is uh, ms office 97 okay here 97 version Next, in the next spiral, that is a purple one. Okay, they came up with uh, MS Office 2000. So it's 2000 version, MS Office 2000 version. And so on guys, every spiral will have another version released. So just to uh, revise, instead of taking all the requirements at once, okay, when do we go for a spiral model? Instead of taking all the requirements at once, the first iteration will be conducted with basic requirements, okay? Basic requirements like MS Office 95 version, okay? MS Office 95 version was having the basic uh, basic, basic requirements and it's concept oriented, right? Uh, concept creation version, you can say. The next version of the product can be achieved in the next spiral and so on. 97, 2000, XP, 2003, 2007, 2010, 2013, 2016 are coming in next spirals, okay? Each and every spiral is releasing one version of the software. So in this kind of situations, in this kind of uh, situations, you'll go with the spiral model where the first iteration you want to generate a concept based all the basic requirements you want to implement and concept, a kind of concept you want to prove. And after that, every version you want to release a different version of the software like MS of Microsoft Office people have done. Okay, this kind of spiral model is generally followed by the product based companies for delivering their products uh, in different versions. Okay, not only MS Office guys, uh, if you go for uh, Microsoft, uh, Windows operating system, okay, XP operating system. Then uh, later versions came right after XP. Uh, we got other versions of the operating system also like uh, Windows XP, Windows uh, uh, Windows 8, Windows 8.1, 7, Windows 8.8, 8.1, 8 
Windows 10, now Windows 11, and so on. Okay, these kind of companies, uh, product based companies like Microsoft company, can follow the spiral model for delivering their products. Okay, so this is what is the spiral model, guys. Okay, it's a combination of waterfall model and iterative model, and uh, where each and every spike or spiral, which is each and every iteration, will release a version of the software. First iteration or first spiral will release will create a basic requirement or basic concept creation second second spiral onwards next versions of the software then ad, uh, an advanced versions of the software will be released into the market okay as microsoft people have done and it's generally used by the product based companies for releasing this software into the market okay their products into the market so I hope guys you understood what exactly is spiral model that's all for this session in the next session i'm going to answer another software testing interview question for you till then see you bye bye